Tensic and this is the first of hopefully many videos that I will be presenting on my passion and love and that is Croatian food. This is our Aussie Croatian kitchen and the first recipe I'm going to cook is probably a pretty tough one but I'm going to give it a good crack and that is stuffed peppers. So uh, we're going to need some baguette, olive oil, capsicums, my kids like the yellow. I'm going to go for the red, um, paprika, salt and pepper, some onion, and I'm going to use pork mince and beef mince. Alright, so first things first, we've got to um, peel two garlic cloves. I've already started with one. I just press the knife. Give it a good squeeze. And give it a chop. Nice and fine. The better, the more I chop it, the less likely my kids will see it. They do love the taste of it in the food though. Good. Now that goes into a fry pan with the um, onion. So let me just drizzle a little bit of olive oil in the fry pan, get this up. Pop that in. And let's get this onion going. Whoop. The sizzle of garlic and the smell. You just know that something delicious is about to be made. Whoop. Remember, I'm no chef. Wedge it back in. Final slice. Put that big onion. I think I'm only going to use half because it's quite a big onion. And we'll see how we go with the taste. So I'm just going to finely chop the rest. pick up the bits that fly on the ground. Okay, and we we'll pop it into the sauté. Good. So we'll cook that till the onions soften. And then what will happen is we will add that into the meat mixture. So while I'm letting the onions and garlic rest, I'm going to add the meat. So in goes 500 grams of pork mince. My bowl sings. It's happy that I'm cooking these probably. And beef mince. Now I remember my mum using vegeta on everything when we were little. It was just the spice to have in your cupboard. I rarely use it, but if I'm going to cook traditional food, I have to use vegeta. So we use, the recipe says two tablespoons, but I might just start with one. So one goes in. Remember, it's your taste bud. So if you want, you know, a stronger flavor, then add it. So um, I'm going to add two tablespoons of the sweet paprika and then some salt and pepper. And some pepper. I'm just going to start to combine that and then I'm going to add some olive oil and the onions. So just combine that well. And now I'm going to add the onion.
my daughter who is in the background helping me film loves the smell of onion and garlic cooking and I must say it does feel like home when you do smell those aromas in the kitchen. So I'm just going to mix that through and then when that's mixed through we'll stop the peppers. Now I've forgotten one of the most important ingredients and it is the rice. So I have about 150 grams or about just under a cup of rice and it's been soaking in warm water. So I'm just going to drain that and then add it in, mix it all together and then we'll stuff them. Alright so the fun part, we have to cut the tops of the peppers and clean the seeds out. So I'm going to go gently around. And you don't want to cut um, sort of into the stem there because you want to have the top, I like it as decoration for the lid. Ooh, so let's be very mindful of the one. Gently take it out. Ooh. And then in there, we're just going to remove all those seeds, clean it out, and then get them ready for the next touch it. Okay, so now I'm going to stuff the peppers. And I like the little lip there. Some people like to cut it wide open. If you have a preference, let me know. This is the first time in a very long time that I've made these, so any of your tips, tricks, and advice would be very advantageous for me. But this is all about me learning and rediscovering the culture of Croatian cuisine and sometimes recipes change over time and families have different um, ways and styles of cooking just like my household does as well. So if you don't mind some of the rookie, uh, not mistakes, but the passion I guess that I'm coming with, I guess that's the start, right? So that, that's nearly done. I've got two more. I've got a massive green one, so that might change the cooking for that a bit. We'll see how we go. Okay, so I'm going to use um, pureed tomato sauce. This is 700, um, 700 grams. It's going to go into this pot. And Vegeta makes an appearance again. I'm going to add the Vegeta. I'm going to put two in. It says four. I'm going to put two. Now you can do this with tin of tomatoes, um, flour, and olive oil. But I'm going to use um, the passata because I have it in the house and I think it will still work. Uh, so I'm going to combine the Vegeta and the passata. Pour it in and see how we go. Okay, so now I'm going to pour the passata and the vegeta um, sauce over the top, making sure that some go into the And then I'm going to cook this on the stove. For about an hour. Okay, so we've been cooking these for about an hour and a half, haven't we, Lexi? Yeah. And they've turned out okay. Well, I'm quite happy with the consistency, and we're going to pull one out in a second and take a better look. Mm -hmm. 
maybe a little bit more salt, but these are going to taste amazing tomorrow. Alright, well this is the first of many recipes. Please share the video if you like it. Please pop a comment down with any ideas and tips on how I can change this or improve it. And please subscribe because I'd love to keep posting more videos for you to share and learn with me and you can teach me as well how to be a Croatian cook. So enjoy.